Shaggy Showtime, goddammit. Oh, oh, Leona oh, baked a cake. <laughs> it looks like a giant donut. It does. There it is. That's what it looks like. Go nuts for donuts. Yum, yum. It is. It is. What the hell is going on in here? Complete madness. <laughs> I know what's going on. Wrangle them back in. You know, the video game streamers. So they just put out like these fucking videos that are like two hours long. Somebody's just playing Roblox or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Just, it, it, whatever the fuck. That's all they watch all day. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers play Roblox on YouTube. And I just kept hearing this. It's like, you got to spread your nuts out. And he's like, so yeah, okay, get your nuts and spread out your nuts. All right, spread your nuts out. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, the only part that stuck out was spreading your nuts out. And I, I think we were just talking about spreading your nuts out about something the other day. For all I know, they could have been watching a nut spreader outer channel. See? <laughs> you know? Now, just think. It's a bunch of bat wings and shit. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we're aware now that um, there was a button push that, uh, that made you so you couldn't watch the replays on Twitch of this. That was a 100% accident, so keep your panties on your butts and on your neddings and your ball sacks because shit was an accident. And it's been resolved. It has been. We don't apologize. It happened, and it is what it is. Exactly. Do you apologize? No. Huh. You should probably apologize, I, though, because you did it. I, I'd have to apologize. Yeah, that's, that's my bad. <laughs> I wouldn't even go for that, but that was very, there was very stand-up type of shit to do there. That Real is. Real stand-up guy for that. Bruticus. There you go. You took the downfall because you caused it. <laughs> Bruticus. Bruticus, Brutalis, or what is it? Again? Bruticus. Brother Bruti. Brother Bruti. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, Ken. It's not fuck off. It's new fuck or favorite fuck. What is it? Favorite fuck Ken. What? Your favorite <laughs> fuck Ken. Cool. Coolest fuck. Coolest fuck. Very cool. Well, he's, he's clearly my favorite fuck. <laughs> there it is. See? And we got, what's on the sleeves? What's on there? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's on there? Oh, damn. Yeah. Double whammy. I'll, I'll pull my dick hairs out. Whoa. Show you the top of my penis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because <laughs> I'm excited. That's what I do. I get excited and I go to jail. <laughs> so we got them in uh, white and in black and in all the sizes. You can get some. For, I think we even have them for babies. Oh. I'm oh, sorry, man. That was, uh, <laughs> I've been fucking shitting like crazy today. <laughs> Okay, he's gonna go and do it now. Manny. Manny. That's fine. Shug. This live audience sucks. Ugh. I'm just watching him in the replay thing. I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, that's a good fucking uh, vitamin C boost. You know it's vitamin C day. That's why you're drinking that. All right, get it. Drink that Hollandaise sauce. Right here. Right Down here. in the belly, huh? Why are we just watching him kill it? What did you guys do with it? Everybody's watching him like there's something wrong with this shit. What'd you put in there? I'm, you know what? It sucks that we have to be so skeptical around she here. Made it. I didn't okay, but it. you were in the kitchen. When I was young, I used to steal shit a lot, right? <laughs> I did. I used to be a fucking big time klepto. Like, but I'd get paid for it. I was like a professional. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't just out there stealing shit like a dummy. I was taking orders well, yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying i wouldn't go to school i'd go out filling my fucking orders you know what i'm saying so one day we just went out joy stealing instead of you know which is getting greedy we steal like cassette tapes back in the day you know what i'm saying and it was so simple so we'd all just grow our fucking thumbnails long you know what i'm saying you just pop the boys open when you're in the record store just and you just like take it out and put it up your fucking sleeve like that and they'd never even know you're just ripping them all off and you just leave with the whole section just be empty cassette covers you won't believe how many ICP tapes I stole. Fuck yeah, we used to tell people to steal our shit. We used to fucking, we used to fucking encourage people to go to record stores and steal our shit. Yeah, how do you feel about that now? Great, because we still get paid on them. The fucking stores still have to pay on them because they got stole. They'd cover the re the cost. My older brother, he had a blue Monte Carlo, I think it was, but it wasn't like no, it was an old piece of shit bucket. You know what I'm saying? So the the fucking gas gauge was broken on it, so he had to like count the miles till he was like out of gas and shit. You know what I'm saying? He let us fucking use his car because my boy had just got a check that he was gonna cash, and we we're gonna fill his tank up, and that's why he let us use his car. I was trying to fill his gas tank up. You know what I'm saying? It kept popping on me, pop, pop. So I'm like, what the fuck, man? You know what I'm saying? So I was just assuming it was full. So we stopped at a little used record store on the way back. We're just in there, looking at the tapes, just shoving them in, putting them back. Even though it was used, there was no cellophane. A couple of them had cellophane, but we were still busting them open, putting them in. And we go to walk out, and the fucking alarm goes off. 
Do, 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 do. Bow. So we take off. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker jumped the goddamn counter like Bruce Jenner. We fucking jump. He gives chase. So I'm pulling the fucking tapes out, throwing them backwards. <laughs> Hoping, in my mind, he's going to stop and pick them up. He didn't give a fuck what I was throwing on my shit. He wanted to murder me. And I shook the motherfucker, right? But I'm still running. And uh, I cut down an alley. And the alley dead ends. I don't know if they're chasing me or not still. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And by this time, I think there's probably police on the fucking, you know, chasing. So I don't fucking know. A normal sized backyard fence. I just fucking jumped like a deer over that bitch. But right when I got to the top, my toe caught the fucking very top of the fence. Whack! But like, that shit was fucking crazy. Like, I, like my whole fucking teeth went whoosh, And I took a scoop of dirt up the top of my mouth. The my mother shit. That grass hanging on my face. It was pretty cool. So I fucking came to and I climbed into somebody's garage. <laughs> She's like, great story, man. Tell the kids this one sometime, huh? I'm fucking hurting. You know what I'm saying? My face is fucking on fire. And uh, so I, I just stayed in that garage for about a half hour. I was like, shit. School's getting out. I gotta go with my brother. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck. I didn't know where homeboy is at that was driving the car. So whatever. I took my shirt off and tied it around my head. It was the summertime. That was my disguise. And fucking, I just hit the railroad tracks. And fucking an hour later, I was at home walking. My boy had already dropped the car off and left. So right when I walk in, my brother beats the shit out of me. He ran out of fucking gas. And he got home because the fucking gas never filled up. He got chased by the fucking Bruce Jenner police. <laughs> <laughs> fucking broke my face open Hit out for a while And then had a long ass walk home Only to get home And get beat up by my brother Oh if you like your stuff You can send it to us I love size extra large um, I like cash um, Jewels are cool Huh I wear size 12 So you know Anything that's worth some money you, That address is right Fucking Hey look If you're gonna make bootleg shit You send it to me for free Otherwise if I had to pay for it, I'm coming after you. I'm coming after your site and shutting it down. Send me your free shit now. Yeah, I'll shut it down. I'll tell. He won't do anything. I will of tell. Above. I'll fucking tell. Something I actually fucking it. have the profit. I want half Shut the fuck up and let me finish. I can't. I'm thinking about money. Three Dogma is going to send you some golden anal beads. Sweet. I don't know if that'd be for you or Joey. Probably well, Joey. We'll share them. We'll do it like Lady in the Tramp style. In our mouth. <laughs> in all in our butts. That's a butt. <laughs> yeah, we'll just suck it in and kiss it then with buttholes. Will a three foot dildo I'm... fit in the P.O. box? We don't Probably know. if it oh, folds in half. Gonna... Yeah, there's a window in our P.O. box too, so everybody can see the silly items in there. Oh, shit! Somebody's trying to steal my identity right now. What? Oh, yeah. I thought you were even mad at me for seeing. I'm allowed to talk about that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. these fucking idiots. I'm still trying to pay off my taxes from the other year. <laughs> these fucking idiots are trying to take out a very sizable uh, return in my name, tax return. <laughs> I was trying to use my fucking debit card back in the day, right? Uh -huh. And they're like, no, 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 no. So I'm like, well, what the fuck, man? It has a lot of money in there. <laughs> you know, why, why, what's the problem here? So they're like, it's not taking it. It says the fuck off. Several times. $3,000 on iTunes, one at a time songs. That is crazy. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that was me. I'll gladly pay for that. <laughs> Your name is on both the letters from the IRS and the Michigan Department and that, of Treasury. And that's why I'm in trouble in the first place, because I don't read those letters. Apparently, people who, who do this um, oftentimes will start working in a doctor's office or dentist's office. Oh, yeah. Some office number. where you have an appointment, you use your social security number. They file taxes under your social security and... Away they go. But yeah. apparently hasn't been much of an issue as of late. We just watched it. Some broad in Las Vegas back in the day, in the early 90s. And she, she was going out with some fucking con man, you know what I'm saying? And she got a job at the fucking uh, armored truck place, Loomis, whatever the fuck, in Las Vegas. And they, they would change the money in the ATMs and shit for like all the casinos. Yeah. So one day she just said, fuck it. And just turned the other way and just went to her the spot they took off with the money you know what i'm saying so they're just out there like a bunch of fucking idiots oh where's carol at <laughs> she's parked somewhere but she was a fucking gone already but listen to this case now this is real shit well that was real shit but this was more closer to home uh this motherfucker back in the day they used to know his name was perry holly right he's a fucking nerd after high school or whatever he went to the fucking one of the armed services and he like worked his way up he was in effect like he was at the like the american embassy in india or whatever the fuck like he was an official dude you know what i'm saying in the army and then he had got out the army or whatever the fuck he was in, and he got a job at an armored car place, and he had a partner, and he worked with this motherfucker for a year and a half. So one day they pull up to the, they pull into the eight, they go to empty the ATM, and all of a sudden like whatever, there's a nine one one call. They got robbed. You know what I'm saying? His partner got shot in the fucking head. Turns out he shot his partner, and it was his cousin that came and got the money.
they sent a fake pizza guy in there, whatever, to confirm it was him, and it was him. So then they sent a robot in there after they knocked a bunch to make sure he'd see if he was in there, and they found him dead in there. <laughs> the robot did. So basically, they kicked the door and it shot his ass. You know what I'm saying? Is what happened. And they said that he killed himself or whatever. But do you remember Willie Survive? It was after Schoolhouse Rock. I think he like would survive like kidnappings. He'd give you little tips as a kid how not get fucked up. And he had a theme song. Will he survive? Will he survive? Will like will he survive? Yeah. A scenario, but his name was Will he survive? There it is. Eighty three. I told you. God damn it. Turn that fucker up. There he is. Will he survive? I didn't see him since nineteen eighty three. Yeah, we ought to hear that too. Man, his cat's out. Will he survive? He's scared. I would be too. Straight kids. They missed the fucking bus because it oh. cat. I got a question, Manny. Will he survive? I think he will. I don't know. Look at strangers everywhere. He's in a hood. Today. There's probably electric eyes everywhere. He's strong, Wait, though. Oh, he's strong. Yeah, man. He knows what to do. He got a quarter and a phone. This does not apply nowadays. <laughs> so, this does not apply. He called his daddy. Yeah, and C- Carrie, emergency. That was the fucking lesson. Kid. He survived. Willie, in fact, did survive because he carried change. Willie survived. That's the question. Let's see. <laughs> it's windy out, too. Ooh, that's dangerous outside. I didn't know there was before. And look, he's locked out of the fucking house. In a storm of all things. Good for him. Wait, there was a note. I couldn't read it because it was in the house. And he's locked outside of the fucking house. He's locked out. I went shopping. Ooh, he's freaking out. Man, chill out, Willie. Think about it. Rely on yourself. That's what you do. Is he going to the window? Probably. He's going to ring the doorbell. Where? The next door? Oh, he's hanging out with a little kid. Once again, something that nobody has in their houses. So, he survived. Waited for his mom to get home. Call her said, hey, I'm next door. He survived. Shaggy would die quick. <laughs> <laughs> I read through your lifetime. I don't know how official this is, but through your lifetime, you meet 16 different murders about, give or take. Well, I didn't murder. Well, are you pointing at me? I'm not a murderer. I don't know yet. If I did, you wouldn't know. Murderers, he was like, <laughs> I'm like, you really think I'm a murderer? Brutalis. Murder that ass. Get the Shaggy Show shirts right there with Manny is wearing. Uh, all that for Psychopathic Vault. And, uh... And yeah, send send me some shit to my P.O. box because I don't want to have to come after you and get it from you. And guess what else? Ha! Fuck off!